Hey guys, thought I'd do a, a uh, little update. Hadn't done an update in a while other than the, uh, the meetup we had. I just finished mowing the yard. Um, this morning we went and got a new, shush, we went and got a new chicken. I'll explain why in a moment. And she's being ostracized by the other chickens because she's a newbie. And and they're they they're picking on her and stuff and being mean and whatnot. They're it's not very nice of them. And there's the wonderful quail. Um, they're doing pretty good today, Glenn. Though I'm not seeing any in there right now. Oh, there's an egg. I don't know if you will, let me adjust here. Can you see it down there? There's an egg. Might be some more underneath there. I need to get some straw for this. Sawdust or something. Uh, them chickens aren't very friendly. They attacked me as a matter of fact the other day. I don't know what the hell that was about yesterday. Uh, I opened, opened it up and get the feeder and I shook some stuff out. And man, every time I shook that feeder upside down, they came at me, all three of them came at me like a damn army, flapping and scratching and stuff. They didn't like me shaking that feeder out on them. Shush! Not getting enough attention. Uh, so yeah, we got a, a, a new chicken and it's being ostracized I'm by the other chickens and pecked on and stuff. It's horrible. Um, we're... we're um, getting ready to harvest some apples to make apple pie filling and maybe um, dehydrate some apples. We don't know what all we're doing. And we discovered here recently that um, now that they're really f fully bloomed, um, that they're, they are three different kinds of apples. I don't know what kind, but these are one kind. These stay green. Oh, and there's lo lots of, um, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but um, Lots of monarchs and um, bees really going going at it on the, um, the uh, wildflowers. And these, which there is not a lot of apples on it, but these are another kind of apple. Those down there are almost pure red. Those stay green. And these are kind of are like a stripy kind. Um, again, the uh, wildflowers are getting really weedy, but I'm really impressed by the... Uh, Look at that. Isn't that freaking beautiful? A lot of monarchs out here. All the time. Monarchs and grasshoppers and bees. Oh, there we go. See them? Oh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love it. There's another monarch. And there's a nice little bee. A lot of pollination going on. There's a baby monarch, it looks like. There's a bee doing his pollination thing. There's another bee over there doing some pollinating. Ah, oh, I love it. So anyways, wildflowers are doing awesome. Uh, this is a watermelon bed. It's pretty weedy. But uh, it doesn't seem like the watermelons are getting much bigger. And it appears that the vine's almost dying off. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I got some watermelons, but they're... Not getting much bigger than the softball, and those sugar babies don't get real big. But they kind of seem to stop their growth. I don't know why. Now, as as far as why, um, why we got another chicken? Because one of our chickens broke their legs. Uh, must have fell off the roost or something. I don't know. But probably not much much chance for her. And it's sad because she's such a sweetheart. Had to break her leg to had to get her leg broke to become a sweetheart, but she pretty much can't stand up. It's sad. Sadness. It is sad. Yes, it's sad. You're a good girl. And I'm gonna have to wring your neck, I guess. That sucks. 
It's all part of it, though, I guess. And unfortunately, there's not even enough meat on her to to really get anything out of that. And the rabbits, rabbits are doing good. Garden's doing good. Uh, looks like there's some more spaghetti. I I need to weed eat through here and do some. Yeah, it looks like this be. Oh, and we tried that for the first time this um this week. Oh man, man, I love we love spaghetti squash. Good stuff. Good stuff. My lettuce is starting to go to seed over here. I need to pull some onions. We've getting been getting a ton of um squash and zucchini off. Started pulling peppers off. There's one that needs pulled off. I'm getting ready to throw some peppers on the grill. Those are banana peppers. That one's ready to come off. I need to get it. Uh, got these, um, I don't know what they are. Something Wonders. Actually, I forget the name of them. But I got those coming on. and They're, they're doing good. <coughs> the um, tomatoes, not doing so well. They got the, uh, I don't even know if that's blossoming rot or whatever, but they're getting some rot or something eating on them or something. They, they grew great, but they're getting the, the rot or the bug eating or whatever, some sort of bull crap. Got a couple heads of lettuce off this week. The broccoli got just destroyed by um, some sort of bug. And what's coming up is, seems to be going to seed now, so that's that. Um, uh, these are cherry tomatoes. I'm hoping they don't get the rot, the rot or the bug eater or whatever. The um, well, look at that one back here. Look at that fatty. And it doesn't appear to get to have the, well, yep, it's got it on top. I'm getting that with all of them. Um, I've read that I need to put eggshells in the soil, which, too late for that this year, really, I think. And what we got there, there's a, see how this is doing. These are aromas. Yep, see, look at that, even the aromas are getting it. And the aromas are coming on great though, but as soon as they turn red, as soon as any of these things start turning red, they get the rot. Uh, down here, I've got some, uh, I've planted some, um, uh, some garlic in here, but I don't know where it's at or what, or even what it looks like the first year or so. I think that this might be it, but I could be totally wrong about that. In fact, I'm, I feel certain that I'm totally wrong about that. Yeah, I, over here though, I've got asparagus. It's real weedy, but I've got aspar asparagus growing. Believe it or not, as shitty as that corn looks, I got corn off there a few years, several, I don't know, a dozen or so years, corn out of it was edible, not not big kernels, but that it was edible and it tasted really delicious. We got some peas out there, but it was pretty, kind of a pretty weak thing going on. We actually got some um, handful of them in there we don't know what we're gonna do with. Beets, beets are ready. We're getting ready to um, pickle some beets, I think. I don't know, sometime this week. Um, more beets over here. Got some carrots. I don't think they're ready. I don't know if they've been thinned out enough either. Uh, mm, that looks like more broccoli, which ain't doing real great. Um, the pumpkin. Pumpkin over here. Uh, I think there's only one pumpkin on the whole deal. It's really weedy. We've had, we've had trouble keeping up. No bullshit. But there's a pumpkin in here hiding in this. Oh, there's one. I don't think that's the one I'm looking for, but there is a pumpkin. And it's not doing particularly great. The vine's doing good, but I don't think the 
pumpkin itself seems to be like doing just about like the uh We've had a lot of weird oh here it is here we go here we go hiding in there look at that look at that monster there's two I guess I gotta look around in here a little bit I one time I had um some pumpkins growing I had quite a few growing but one of them hid back in some weeds in my old place back by a tr uh, trash barrel or something and I didn't see it until late, late in the season. Ended up being 105 pounds. I'm not going to go all the way out there, but um, I harvested some potatoes this week. I got peppers out there blossoming. They're like jalapenos, a mixture of different kinds. I think those are California Wonders over there, those small ones. Look like bell peppers, but they're a little bit smaller. We've been harvesting the hell out of beans. I've been getting a lot of beans. In fact, I'm going here. I'll show you what we're up to right now. I've got the grill going. We're getting ready to, um, we're going to grill some of those uh, banana peppers with, it's starting to thunder, so i got to get the mower put away. I hope it doesn't rain while I'm grilling. Um, Uh, we're having banana peppers stuffed with cream cheese and wrapped with uh, bacon on the grill on the smoker. I've been getting a bunch of cardboard and I'm filling up all these um, these uh, raised beds with um, there's cardboard and, and some coffee grounds that she's been getting for, from Starbucks. I need to run the weed eater. I'm kind of trying to do this in a hurry. I apologize. Um, um, we're not gonna, obviously not going to grow anything in them this year, but we're trying to get them prepared for next year and have them ready. Um, we're having, a, I think, a salmon steaks and a couple of ears of corn that we just pulled. Some peppers from the garden, like I said, and maybe something else, I can't remember. There's an apple tree we need to plant. We, we've um, got a few new apple trees planted. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I'm not even sure if you guys, if I really did not did an update with the chickens so much. Um, let's see if more of them have come out. I believe they have. They're pretty skittish. Unfortunately, the new one, because I've held it a little bit, it's a little bit sweeter with me. And then, and then I put it in there, and then they're like picking on her. They're mean to her. They're not being very nice. There they are. There they go. <laughs> Apparently they're all in there. Hopefully they're not beating up on her. Hopefully they're not beating up on my baby whose name is Sugar. <coughs> Hush. Hush now. Yeah, they're they're not very social. They're kinda camera shy. Oh they're see they're picking on her. She tried to go back here and be with them, and they're picking on her. It's okay, baby. I'm still your friend. I'm your friend, and Rod Cerber is going to love you. Yes, Rod's going to love you. There they are back there hiding because they're, they're punks. They're punks like that. That, that barking-ass dog's a punk, too. Hush! Okay, so uh, we've been doing a lot of work on the house, too, um, inside of the house. Not a lot, but we're getting, we're making headway anyways. Uh, my, um, my little mailbox uh, garden flower bed thingies really coming up. Not as colorful as I would have liked, but yeah, kind of pretty. Very close off the mailbox. Mailman's gonna have to fight to get in there, but there's that. Uh, that tree's not doing so well. I think that's a uh, dogwood or red butt or something. Something. Uh, 
so we'll go in here and see what's going on in here. I still need to finish staining staining the deck. I started that and haven't got it finished. And there's the wild Shelly in her in her natural environment. Say hi Shelly. Hi. What are you doing? Huh? Oh. She's got the little pressure canning vegetables information. There's our ears of corn we're gonna have. Here's our wine making. Have no issue with the wine, are we? Yeah, this is not fermenting, but look, no, the blueberry's not fermenting. For some reason, it's not fermenting. We don't know why. It's not fermenting or it's having problems. It's either done fermenting or. Huh? Yeah, well, that's alright. Oh, you wasn't supposed to cut them like that, baby. You just split them open, fill them, and then. Okay, well then. We can give it a try. It's alright. No. It's alright. And we're, what are we doing over here? Does it start jiggling yet? Looks like it's about ready to. It's getting some. Should we open it up and find out? Oh, we don't. I don't think you want to open it up. I'm teasing. I haven't canned in a while, so I'm kind of. I hope we didn't put too much water in it. I'm a little concerned about that. But. Let's look and see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just kidding. See if there will fall for it. <laughs> and anyways, doing some canning. There's some of our, of our harvest, the zucchini and squash. I think we're gonna. What was that noise? Oh. That was uh, Starting to get stuff in there. I ain't gonna go through the whole thing right now. But starting to get stuff in there, cleared away, and we tore out the carpet here and found this what will soon be a very beautiful hardwood floor. Isn't that right, Shelly? Isn't that right, Shelly? What? This will be it soon be a very beautiful hardwood floor in here, won't it? Yeah, really beautiful. <coughs> so. That's what we got going on, and we're gonna put this uh, old, old antique door off, actually off of my old house. It was built in eighteen hundreds. We're gonna put it up for kitchen door. Seriously? Okay. You still haven't found anything in there in there about how much you sh water you were supposed to put in there? No. That's odd. It should say somewhere. All right, so we're we're, we're pressure canning. We're probably not going to get the explosion on video, but um, we'll let you know about it later and tell you what we did wrong. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>